Hi, I'm Veronica Thompson, and I have one thing to say to a very special group that I had left out, and I didn't mean to leave out, and that was wrong of me, because I'm 100% real. I don't mean to hurt nobody or insult anybody. I'm not here for that. I'm here to try to uplift us because um, it's a lot of things that's going on that's really like mind-boggling. First of all, how are we going to sit back and we just letting everything be taken away, stripped from us one by one? All right. It's wrong to spread hatred. When you say a certain group and you the leader and you say certain groups, you're going to cause other people to believe you because, see, a lot of people are brainwashed. Let, let's keep it on 100. A lot of people are brainwashed and they believe that if I stab this black person, I'm doing something. If I kill this Arabic, I'm doing something. But that is spread hatred. We have a law that's against hate crimes. Are we or are we not seeing a hate crimes being produced out of the words from people? No names. From people. And the people are like causing a crazy uprising. Which in return is going to be martial law. We don't want that. We, we, we Americans trying to be free. We always been sitting here fighting for freedom. Why are we losing freedom? Why are we losing our rights? We're going to let you decide what a transgender should do. Get, get Look, you wasn't there when they had to fight with their bodies and they have a body that they couldn't even deal with. They look like a girl and they're a man on the inside. You don't know what that feels like. And none of us can even say, oh, I know what that feels like. Only those people feel that. So how are we going to sit there and judge what they feel? That's like a person has ache back pain. Oh, my God, it hurts every day. The doctor can't find the reason or the cause of, but it is there. So you have to live with it. And these people decided not to live in a shell that they was unhappy in. And who are we to give, uh, we need to vote <laughs> on transsexual. You need to not vote on that. that. That's not a vote. What you need to vote on how to move medical marijuana to stage two. That's what you need to do. All the rest of the stuff that you're trying to do, is, it's all right. But you need to help the American citizens. We are dying out here by the thousands and the terrorists didn't even do it it's the pharmaceutical they the pharmacies are making money by killing us and you're enforcing this and then by the way i'm gonna say it to you this is to you trump when you kill marijuana you just gave the cartels back their job so i don't understand how you fight in america and you're gonna give them back marijuana so they could sell it on the street to every little kid that was down the street white black green or purple yes that's right that's right the little kids gonna be getting high yeah because you gave it to the wrong person when we have it 18 and up come on there's no little kids can come in here and tell me i'm gonna get a bag with that ain't gonna happen that's not gonna happen that you didn't even got to worry about that those regulations are set in the right standards to protect the kids from getting to it and only grown-ups and only the person's name on the prescription is entitled to use it. So why are you going to send the federal government after these people? Are you crazy? You know how many people got stock money in there? How many people sitting around you right now? They got money, a lot of money, in medical marijuana and you want to kill it. And they're going to be very upset with you. You're not going to be able to do nothing. Everything you want to do won't get cut down because they're mad. You done killed their money. Their dreams are gander. Another $100 billion in their pocket. You done killed that. I don't know what you're going to do, but I think you should think a little bit deeper and stop trying to kill the American citizens on one hand and try to give the other rest a job. 
Because you're not just killing off one group. You're killing off a lot of American citizens. A lot of these people that go in their coal mines going to really need that medical marijuana when they start coming down with cancers and all that good stuff. You know, all the sick that goes with it. That's why it was banned and closed in the first place. Because millions of people was dying. Dying. You understand? Dying from breathing charcoal. Pure charcoal. That sticks to your lungs. That makes it hard to breathe. Hmm. It's like sending people to work in asbestos. Yeah, we're we going to hire people. We need y'all in asbestos. <laughs> we got jobs. Yeah, so now you just kill another group of people. And all they wanted was a job. They could have been entrepreneurs and owned medical marijuana shops for people who is really sick and can help somebody. Because, see, with medical marijuana, you're hiring people, which is building up the job force. So why are you doing this? Are you crazy? You going to kill a job? You going to kill people making money in America? And this is the American dream? I'm going to say this to you too, Mr. Trump. Check this out. Stop worrying about the past because we can't do the past. We have to do the future. The future is at hand, not the past. So all America is gone, America. It doesn't exist, and it won't exist, and it's not going to exist because it can't coincide and exist at the same time what we're doing now. Okay? Old America was different. We were still trying to decide where we're going to go and what we're going to do. So, therefore, there's no sense to even try to make a new America from the old America. How about we just keep going new? Go with the new technology. Learn how to work with that. Learn how to go future. Like every other country is in the future. We're sitting here still trying to, I'm going to capture the 1800s. Leave that stuff alone. We don't need that. We already, as, as people, we done been through enough. And we don't need extras. Why are we having extras? It's like I order a slice of pizza and all of a sudden I got 10 pieces. I didn't ask for all of that. And nobody in America is really asking for it. We just ask for you to do the best you can and do a good job. Not a good job for one group. Because I heard you talking about the middle class. So what about the poor people? Oh, just throw us to the side, right? Or oh, we the ones going to be working in, in the coal mines. That's going to be the new welfare job for us, huh? I don't think so. You need to let people be entrepreneurs. You should push entrepreneur because if everybody owns a job and hiring people you know what happens the deficit goes down and then if you give the weed back to the federal government you giving the drugs back to the bad men the very bad bad men that will kill to conquer so you're gonna give it back to the cartels that we was fighting so hard to not to give it to them but make it legal for us and make it possible that we cut them out so the little kids won't get it. Okay, so maybe you want to take it, maybe you don't. Whatever. Whatever works for you. But I really think you should listen to what I'm saying. I'm not telling you something wrong. I'm out here. I'm not stuck in the office. I don't have a round of people talking to me. I'm making decisions by what I see and what I hear. You know, I have a high school diploma, going to college in a couple of months. You know, um... I was thinking about having stocks in, in medical marijuana because I seen it was doing so good for people. And you just got to kill things. Knock yourself out because uh, I, you're going to mess around and get yourself in a lot of trouble. You need to really slow down and start to help, not just help a certain group. Because I see where you're going with this. You're spreading hate and then you're picking a certain group. I'm on your side, but I'm not on your side with the hate. I'm not on your side to, for prejudice. I'm not on your side with that. That, I'm not on your side. No, I'm not with that. Because at the same time, you hating one race, it all stems back to my race. Mm. And see, I ain't stuck on stupid. Because after you finish hating and deporting, then we're going to come back to us. Because <laughs> we, we never left out. Okay? So if you have a heart, as you're looking at your table and you see people of my complexion, think about them in the future. Their family will love to go forward. You know, everybody would like a, a break, a little piece of the pie. The pie could be cut in many pieces. So share it. Don't divide it amongst y'all. Divide it amongst America. And that's all I got to say. Love the world. God bless everyone. Let you all stand strong. Stand strong, stand wise. Pay attention. Don't just listen. Don't look with just with your eyes. Look with your mind. That's all I got to say. Be positive. Peace.